What's up, y'all? My name's Shaquan, but a lot of people know me by my other name, Mad Skills. I'm an MC. My name is Mad Skills. Now let's make some noise. I'm a DJ. Oh, yeah. I'm a ghostwriter for some of your favorite rappers. I'm not about to tell you who, though. But most importantly, I'm a hip-hop enthusiast. Hip-hop changed my life. Hip-hop, you the love of my life, and that's true. I love everything about the culture, just like you do. Hip-Hop Confessions is raw, unfiltered conversations with my friends revealing things that they didn't like, never knew about, I don't know. or never got into about hip-hop culture. These are conversations I have all the time anyway. It's just that now, the microphone is on. Hopefully there's some of the most honest and entertaining stories that you'll hear. So sit back, oh, Come on, y'all. turn up the volume, hip-hop. and listen to Hip-Hop Confessions. Because everybody's got one. Here's a little story that must be told. And it goes a little something like this. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Mad Skills, and we are here. This is Hip Hop Confessions, a podcast now that was a television show that I brought back as a podcast. And this is our first episode back. I had a lot of people asking, when are you going to do it again? When are you going to bring back Hip Hop Confessions? Ladies and gentlemen, Hip Hop Confessions is back. We are here. I have two of my good friends in the building. I will introduce both of them. Uh, I have to my right. How are you, sir? How, how, how are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing. I'm awesome. doing well. Okay. To my right, I have my homeboy Mike Bombs, amazing producer. He's produced for the likes of, oh uh, man, the, what the Lost Boys, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Drew Hill, mm-hmm. Cisco, mm-hmm. Lakeley Forty Seven, James Davis. Yep. yep. Uh, you know Jesus. Yeah, I know him too. And you know everybody in between. Amazing mm-hmm. producer. Y'all give it up for Mike Bombs. And hey, 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 hey. To my left, I have one of my good friends. From the D.C. area, yes, DJ Money. What's up, How boss? are you, sir? I'm good, brother. I'm healthy. I Listen, can't complain. Man, this guy right here is uh, an amazing DJ, uh, producer, event mm. coordinator. Mm, yeah, I do that. Uh, but most of all, a DJ. Yeah. Uh, he's DJ a- for the a- likes a- of A&R. A&R. A- you know? He does it all. I call him the sure. black DJ Khaled. He I got like his hands nice. in everything. I like that. Uh, he's DJ for the likes of Wale. Uh, Mac Miller, rest, yeah. God bless the dead. Yes, rest in peace. Um, you know what I'm saying? You've been all Ross, like yep. you know, you've been all over the place. Working, man. man. Yeah, yeah, you popping out here. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we getting there. We getting nah, there. Nah, I appreciate <laughs> it. And now, nah, now, nah. so DJ Money, yeah, from DC, yes. Uh, Mike Bombs from Maryland. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, I, and I'm from Virginia. So, like, basically, we have the DMV. Oh, uh, uh, see you did that. Yeah, 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 that. Cool. See you did that. That's good. That's good. I, like that. I like that. I like that. All, all in L.A. at the same time. Yeah, all, all in L.A. LA. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Los Angeles. So, listen, guys. Let's get straight to it. It's good. Um, Mike Bombs. First of all, Mike Bombs. Yes, sir. Before you even get into your confession, mm. you have an interesting path to to the music industry you got here from a very like happening of chance matter let's just talk about that for a second okay um there's a whole bunch of happening of chance matters uh no, you know what i'm talking about it's something that you found oh okay uh, and, okay okay and you uh, probably uh, 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 okay. is it safe to say that you wouldn't even be in the music business if you hadn't found what you found probably you know what i'm saying wow. it, it was it was a great it was like if this if the music industry was indiana jones it was definitely the first clue uh <laughs> okay. one, of, one of the first I like clue that. to to get the, the let's, to, let's, to let's finding the invisible that. door okay okay that. so uh, <clears throat> real quick um as you might know uh as 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 skills said i'm from maryland and Maryland is a very well. Just paint the landscape real quick. Maryland is a very uh, talented musical city, as far as from the Baltimore all the way down to the DC side. But it's not a musical industry city. Right. There's two different things. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, that being said, as every young producer, I was doing the stuff that young producers do. Right. I was um, uh, doing beats for all my local people around the neighborhood, making tapes, making CDs. Um, running around, meeting that person, meeting this person. Anybody that had anything to say to do with the music industry, I was I was trying to find a way to be in their line of sight. Right. So that being said, um, through a little luck, uh, knowing some people, um, I started being in, um, I guess, the good circles of my area, if that right. makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. So people were always bringing me shit. You feel right. what I'm saying? So that being said, one day I'm sitting, 
I'm sitting in my. Uh, I'm not gonna say any names. I'm gonna say names to protect the innocent. You know what I'm saying? God bless that. Uh, but I had a. I had, no, a, I had, no. a, I had a nice little apartment. No Takashi. Yeah, 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 yeah. No Takashi. Hey, no, 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 yeah, him too. That's that's a good salad though. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I'm sitting at my apartment over on Rolanda Avenue, right? Mm -hmm. I was paying five hundred forty-five dollars a month. You How? know what I'm saying? That's How crazy? Yeah, uh, yeah, through Hip, a Hip, a housing initiative partnership. You Shout know what out I'm to saying? Hip. It was a uh, artist program. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there. I, uh, I had a lot of traffic coming inside, in and out my apartment because mm -hmm. I was making beats. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at the time, I became like in Maryland, in the D.C. area. Just you get to a point to where you're like the guy in your neighborhood. You know, so with a guy in your city. You know what I'm saying? You can probably contest to this. Where there's only like four yeah. or five more guys. There's like maybe about five or ten people that if you almost in the industry, you know them. You feel what I'm saying? Right, and right. I right. started to become one of those guys. If that makes sense, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, not for sure. So. All right, can we get to the shit? Okay, here we go. Because so I know boom. you got somewhere to go. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, don't so, try to shortchange so, uh, me uh, yeah, later yeah. when you I, I'm sorry, you, you, I'm sorry, you setting up the whole scene. Uh, I'm in it now, I'm in it, I'm in it Can we get I'm to the it. shit? So long story short, this producer one day was like, yo, Mike, I got something for you, right? I'm like, what you got? He was like, yo, I got this phone. He was dating this girl, you know what I'm saying? And she was an intern for a musical executive named Kevin Lyles, right? right. So I'm putting the names out there because this, 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 right. this shit really happened, right? right? So he was like, yo, I got this phone for you. I was like, what's the phone? He was like, yo, I got this Blackberry. I'm like, oh. Oh, shit he was like yo and he got all his contacts in there so i'm like oh all the contacts so he brought me the phone it's the old school black well it's kevin lyle so you know you either had at this time you had two different type of blackberries you had the blackberry with the blue joint with a little tenor coming out uh -huh. if you had the money you had the black blackberry and if you had the real money you had a silver blackberry right mm, right so, so excuse me he had a silver blackberry so he brought me the blackberry i was like yo i can keep this he was like no nah, you can't keep it but you can clone it so remember back in the day you can clone the blackberry so he let me he let me hold the blackberry for a yeah, couple of days i cloned yeah. the blackberry up so I am not exaggerating, right? I go through the... I go through the... <laughs> you actually have... At this point, you have Kevin Lyle's phone. Where you know, did he lose it? I don't know. what. So what happened was he gave it to the intern. He gave it to the, he gave it to the intern, okay. but he never cleared He never cleared his contacts, right? So this was at the time... So so this was at the time where the universe... What year is this? I can't even... I, I had to be at least 20, maybe 08, 09. You know what I'm saying? Or 07 at the earliest. Because this they was right figure around, it out. That's going to yeah, yeah, narrow it down. Yeah, because this was right around the time where where something, as a producer, something clicks in you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Where I was like, all right, I got to start approaching this shit differently, right? So he gave me the contacts, and it was... The phone was young enough to where it still even had Skytel pager numbers in there. You remember Skytel pager yeah. numbers, Hell right? Yeah. So literally, right, I can type in, I can type in anybody... And their name will pop up. I don't care how big or small they were in the music industry. Like Oprah Winfrey number was in there. Mm. Um, wow. uh, 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 earlier he said Jesus. Kevin Lyle knows him too. His number was in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had a super sky tail pager. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you get it? You see what I did there? All right. And then, uh, yeah, so, so yeah. So I had Kevin Lyle's number. Uh, I had all these numbers, but I didn't know how to access them. So the first, my first reference was. Anytime I would meet somebody, if I typed their name in the BlackBerry and it come up, I was like, okay, maybe I should know this person, right? So then what I started doing was I said, fuck it. Uh, I started cold calling people. You so, just started calling well, 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 the first thing contacts I did, in, from yeah, Kevin well, Lyles' phone. Yeah, but, well, well, the first thing I did, I had a girlfriend at the time. There was a do time you realize how fucked up that is? This is wild as hell. No, 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 no. Hey, brother, because this is what you got to do, man. This is what you got to do. So um, there was one time where... Um, uh, so so first thing I did was actually my girlfriend. Do. Definitely not what you got to do, but I think I, I had a girlfriend at the time, right? And, right? and she was kind of smart. She was in the music industry, right? Mm -hmm. And she was like, yo, Mike, just call Kevin Lyles and tell him you found his phone, right? And I was like, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's like, yo, just call, tell, call Kevin Lyles, tell him you found his phone, you want to return it, but when you return it, you want to get a meeting. So I was like, oh, okay. You're right? So I called Kevin Lyles up. Uh, left his, uh, at the time, he had, it was a 212 number. He was in Manhattan. He called me. He had a representative call me back, and he was like, yeah, Kevin Lyles would like to take that meeting with you. But I never did the meeting because I was, I was scared. I, I, like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? At that time, I, I didn't know what to do. And plus... My music probably wasn't in a play. I didn't know. I didn't have that much information. But what I did use, all right, for example, uh, skills knowing. So what I started doing, I started cold calling people, right? I called Jermaine the pre-office one time. You know how somebody called office? I was like, yeah, is Jermaine there? You know what I'm saying? It was like, no, Jermaine. <laughs> <laughs> no limit skit. What is this? A no <laughs> limit skit? From a cup of fucking tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Tell him his mom. Yeah, they're like, Jermaine ain't here right now. Well, look, uh, who's this? I was like, Mike. Mike from, what's up? Yeah, where's he at? So, you know, I was really actually getting through to some of these people. There was one time where, um, all right, so she's one of my great friends today, right? Um, there was a time where uh, there used to be a website called PMP.com. I don't even remember that, right? Okay, PMP.com no. was a website no. where, as a producer, 
you can send in music kind of like Taxi and, and uh, A&R will listen to it and try to place A&R. the records, right? This is, yeah. you, this, this is stuff, it's a money grab, you right, pay the right, right. you know what I'm saying? So, But the good thing about PMP is they had articles on the front page, right? right. So there was an article on Filet Night one day, right? Mm-hmm. Filet and Night. Filet. Yeah, Filet and Night was the manager of the clutch at the time, right? So I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta, I gotta know, I gotta get to know Filet and Night, right? So just by happen chance, there was an ASCAP party in New York that I knew she was at. You feel what I'm saying? So I called her, it was like, yo, I got your number at the ASCAP party. See, but people don't understand, these people, music industry people, they meet so many people, people they don't yeah, even right. know who they met. So I, I, I started understanding. Yeah, I started understanding the laws of physics of the music industry because there's, there's the laws of physics of the shit. You know what I'm saying? You Facts. understand the lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was like, yeah. She, she's she was like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. She was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I built a, I started a fostering relationship with her. Um, Hilarious. Uh, there was somebody at Dev Jam I remember one time where I was like, I delivered roses to. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 question. Uh-huh. How was, how was, what was the benefit? Did you have, did you, did anything happen outside of Philan that made it like that you got through? Like, what was the best benefit to getting Kevin Lowes' phone? Um, it showed me. That's a good question. Cause nothing, <laughs> nothing in a sense came out of it. Like, like Jermaine Dupree never called you. Like Jermaine Dupree never called me. But what it did show me, it gave me. It, it's it turns something in my head gotcha. to make me figure out like these are people I can get to them. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? And if like if the access is there, it's like shit. Niggas are not untouchable. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. They I'm, they they became a little closer. They became a little closer. You know what I'm saying? And off on top of that, Kevin Lyles is right in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? Right. The right, yeah. separation or for real. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of what it was. I think I still, I still got the phone to this day. Though there was Oprah's number in there, Kathy Hughes number in that joint. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, he may have had Jesse Jackson number in that joint. I don't know. You know, what brother what I'm Jesse, <laughs> brother so Jesse. Gay- your gateway to the music industry came through a lost phone that just so happened to be Kevin Lyles. That's a great phone to have. That's a good great phone to have. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's a it's good crazy. phone to have. I feel like you had a song about the skills almost. I did have a song called My Phone. <laughs> uh-huh. And well, then, I, then I, I called. That was a lie too. Though. <laughs> and I remember I called Kevin one time, right? I, before I called him, I was like, yo, I found this phone. He's like, yo, when they, this is not how we do this. This is not how we do this. He was like, call my assistant. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, oh, uh-huh. God, God, God. Kevin had to check you or something. Mm-hmm. That, was, that was good. Shout out to Kevin Lyles. Yeah, Shout out to Kevin Lyles. Shout out to Kevin Lyles. Like, Baltimore, you know, wrote. Mm-hmm. And shout, know, girl, and shout, you know shout the assistant that once this comes out, they get in trouble. This yeah, it's gonna be great. I hope she's still. I hope she's. I hope she's went on to do bigger and better. Yeah, I hope she doesn't work for him no more because yeah. she won't. Because she won't sell. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so moving on. This show is called Hip Hop Confessions, mm-hmm. um, where we reveal something that we've never told. Okay. Uh, have you know? Haven't let anyone know. Um, okay. it could be a story. It could be a true confession. And it has to be hip hop related. Okay. So, um, with that being said, I've had previous guests, uh, you know, Kwame, Joe Budden, um, Bink Dog, you know, it's, and and this is a judgment free zone. Okay. Same. No, no judgment. Safe. No judgment. Safe. Money. We're safe here. Safe so. And, safe, and, safe place. It, like, it could be whatever you want it to be. I got you. Um, so your hip hop confession, DJ Money. Um, let's see. Something that people don't know. You know what? I used to work at this club in D.C. called Love Night Club. Now, if you're yes. from D.C., mm-hmm. yes. you're from D.C., you know Love Night Club is like the it's, mecca. It was the mecca. Yes, yes, it is. It was the mecca. I spent many a nights. It's lost many a cash. Texting, texting Gloria. Listen, I'm like talking I'm at about the door. <laughs> Gilbert Arena's birthday party. Market like, Taz. Listen, Market Taz. Shout out to Market yeah. Taz. Um, I was working with Mark at the time. Um, and this is early. This is like before I was spinning, really. I was just hosting. And Mark used to throw these concert series where he used to have shows outside on the block. They mm-hmm. they were called Rock Parties. Yeah, Rock the Block, sponsored by Nextel. I'll never forget it. They had right. sec, sec, Segways and everything, you right? I had a sponsorship. I had a Shout- mobile. Got it. <laughs> See, that's later. Shout out to the sponsor. 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 Yes, facts. So um, I remember he was doing different concerts and one and next thing you know they just kept getting bigger and bigger right um ll was there one time past he had ll had i think like man how many roses was it i think he bought like uh a a, a, a bed truck full full of roses for the girls like right he was, it was going crazy but one time um uh this is when i was like kind of like interning early uh mark calls me up there to like do some day work mm-hmm. and um he calls me, and he's like, yo, y'all thought it. I'm sorry, Mark, I got to do your voice. Yo, <laughs> y'all thought it. Listen, nigga, come up here, thought it. 
right? So the nigga calls me. <laughs> Sound just like <laughs> the nigga calls me to come up there, and right. I go and I go upstairs. Now, if, if if you know love, love has four levels. Yes. On the third level is a pool table. Mm-hmm. So I go to the main level. I'm like, yo, where's Mark? They go upstairs, whatever, whatever. But I see mad security. But I don't know what's going on. There's always folks down. I don't care. Right. I go upstairs. Um, this dude stops me. He's like, whoa, what's going on? Uh, Mark goes, yo, he's he he's a good nigga. He's a good nigga. I come out the joint. I hit the corner, and up there is Beyonce and J J J Jay Z. Beyonce and Jay Z is up wow. there. Just being hove. Being hove up there. Third yeah. floor of dream. Now, what year? This is what what did, well, okay. What, what, what popping song did Beyonce have out at the time? Ba- baby boy. Ba- baby, okay, that, baby that boy. helped the songs give baby me the, the time. Yeah. So baby, baby boy, boy was the hit at the time. It was it was Beyonce and Sean Paul yes. that weekend that was going to perform on Rock the Block. Okay, so, so Sean Paul was into... open, and Beyonce was was head headline. Headline, of course. of course, of course, right? So you walk into Beyonce. The third I mean, listen, Sean Paul was hot, hot as fish grease. Though, let's keep it a buck. Yeah. Like, but yes, yes, Beyonce. You walk into the third floor <laughs> yeah. of love. Yeah, Mark says. Let him go. He's yeah, good. He's you good. turn the corner yes. and you see B and Ho. Yeah, I see B and Ho. Actually, I see B sitting down and him and Jay is playing pool. Oh, got you. Got you, right? Just, yeah, it's right, a normal I, day. I can visualize chill, it now. Chill, chill, it's, chill, normal. Chill. it's a normal Thursday, right. Friday, right? It's nothing, right? In D.C. Right. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. You <laughs> okay. know what I'm saying? Of course, I got to get my shit, my shit together because I got to act like, you know, I've been somewhere before. But mm-hmm. then inside, my my favorite rapper is, is in earshot of me and I right. can't even mm-hmm. say nothing. Right. Mark asked me to do something crazy, I'm sure. Um, in the process of that, Red Bull or somebody calls him, he starts to cuss them them out. So he stops. Of course, in classic Mark fashion. He stops, he walks off. They're playing. He leaves the pool game. Leaves the pool game. Mm. They're playing pool. So Jay doesn't even really say nothing to me. He just kinda like takes the stick and looks like 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 you want like you want to <laughs> get the Oh, like, like yo, look, let's finish the game. I was like, all right, bet. So I rack up. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know it's hove. I'm like, mm-hmm. you about to play pool with Jay Z. I'm like, yo, you you can go ahead and play, bro. He's like, nah, nah, you go ahead. I said, all right. So I break. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't make the first shot. You do. So you miss, but you, you, you're in the midst. This of is playing. a life lesson, guys. Are I just want to let y'all know I'm about to get y'all. Are you a good pool player? I'm decent. Okay. But at the same time, it's hove. Mm-hmm. The last thing I'm thinking about is you can't be my strat- in strategy the in in the pool game. I definitely wasn't trying to win, mm-hmm. right, right? But right. either way, it doesn't matter. Right. I definitely wanted to make something. But you're playing pool with hove. You pool just hove. broke. Quit. I just broke. All Boom. Right. He clears the table. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> he clears the table. So, after so that. you don't get, I didn't a get a chance shot to in. That's it. And Jay Z gets all of his shots. Clears the table. After. Oh, Classic Jay Z. Clears mm-hmm. the table. Classic hole. Because he's competitive. Clear, clear, clears the table. Doesn't say nothing. Just gives security the pool stick. Turns back around. Beats the shit out of you in pool. <laughs> so Y'all don't have no conversation during. What conversation? That was, that was the quickest pool. You ain't even say, damn, damn, ho, if I couldn't get I, one. I said, oh, wow, or something. I don't know what I said. I was just like, <laughs> this, I'm barely like 21, 22 at the time. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. You just lost. To- so, fellas, that is a life lesson. When you get your first shot, make sure you, you sink it because <laughs> you might not get another one. Mm. Just to let damn, you know. Hove ain't even, he didn't even give you. He, He's ruthless. Ruthless. He saw me like I was Nas or something. Like, he beat me like, like it was crazy. Like. It was weird, like so. After this happens, okay, I'm like, you know, Mark comes back up. We're doing stuff, whatever, whatever. He asked me to go make some runs. I do some stuff. I come back upstairs, and um, someone else is up there, and, and I don't want to lie because I'm not sure exactly who it right. was, but it was someone like a Kelly Solange. One of them was up there, cool and whatever, whatever. Right. Um, B is gone, and in like the corner of the same thing in the back on the outside, like J and B are just kind of like kind of going at it, and I'm just like in an argument. I, Listen, they were heated conversation. It was, it was, exactly, it was a it was a heated conversation. And they're not even married at this point. They're not married at this. But point. They, they're so. definitely a couple. Yeah, they, I feel like yeah, they've had to be. I mean, all yeah, couples of course. have, have okay. little, little heated right. arguments, right? So I don't know what this is about. I don't know what's going on. Whatever, whatever. So later, later. Do you think that Beyonce might have been checking Jay for whipping your ass in pool? Probably I hope not. so. Probably, Probably not. not. <laughs> Probably not. But it's fine. But it's fine. But yeah. So next thing you know, <laughs> next thing you know. Um, when I when I roll back through again, I give I forgot what I gave Mark or something like like that. I told Mark that I was leaving. Mm-hmm. Um, Beyonce is like trotting, but she's like in tears. She's crying, and I'm just oh, like, "Oh wow! Like what's going on? Like yo, what what is going on? Oh, shit just got real. You know what I'm saying? Jay Damn, is like Jay made her cry. Jay Jay was like whatever. You know he's 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 gone, but she's like crying. So she's talking to 
whoever she she was with about what was going on. Right. I found out what it was that she was supposed to perform with Sean Paul that night. And I guess I guess Jay wasn't fuck feeling it, like yeah, wasn't having that. it. Oh, and wow. next thing you know, when she performed that night, they rehearsed and everything. And I guess Jay wasn't feeling how it was. Because, you know, Sean Paul, like I said, was going open. He was on the record. Yes, yeah, so he I guess. He was open for Beyonce, so then she, come back and do his record with Beyonce. Which was on fire at the time. It was a fucking smash. On fire at the time. So I'm just like, okay. So, uh, and, and someone tell, tells me this prior to the performance. I said, come on, man, stop, man. That's not true. Like, man, they might have heard something. Else. You don't know how it likely happened. Yo. Bro, that stage after the rehearsal, there was no Sean Paul in sight. And Did Sean, Sean Paul open? Yes, but he cut his set, his set short. Mm. Oh, wow. Jay might have made her tell him. Yeah. Yeah, nah, this ain't going Nah, it's not happening. It's not happening. Damn, you can't perform your smash with me. Cannot. And I don't think and I, I, I think probably told that story life, one of the when, time. She did, when she did, she did something else later. It wasn't the Super Bowl she did, Baby Boy? And then he, and then, was, and he wasn't Sean, there. Sean wasn't there. And everybody mm-hmm. was like, damn, you ain't, like, I'm sure Sean was free to do this fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> and even if he wasn't, he'd have made himself available. <laughs> wow. Uh, but you, you wouldn't know what the crazy thing is, though? <laughs> at, at the end of the day, it still all worked out. Like, how much bigger could Beyonce have been if Sean Paul would have did that record with him? No, think about no, that. no, he did. No, he the did, he did the record. No, no, I'm talking about the the, the, performance. the the performance. No, but it's just the it's just the fact of like you don't get to see features like that perform. Yeah, I understand. So the right. fact that like Mark was smart, smart, smart enough to set that up. Mm-hmm. Yes, like, to get Sean Paul and like Beyonce he, on I'm the pretty, same show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, in, the, in the midst of them having a hit together, they both had hits though. Remember the time? Yeah, Sean they Paul both, was. They was on why fire. Hot? Yes. It was on fire. Which is the reason why he was on the song in the first place. Facts. Oh, I never like Sean Paul anyway. Uh, what? That's a hip hop. Yeah, that's yeah. a hater. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, but listen, I probably told that story twice, and I'll never forget. Like, I never forget. Like, yo, I was like, yo, for real. Like, Sean's really not going to perform, and, and he they left and there, and everything. Like, that was so. That's my hip hop wow. confession. Mm. But you were you saw. Beyond, <laughs> wow! How many people have been fortunate enough to see them have a heated discussion? Oh, you know, listen, that's crazy. Solange is one. But, well, yeah, we well, yeah, 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 yeah. all know how that works. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I along mean, with the rest of the world at that. Too. You know, you know, but oh, you know, wow. all right. So that, wow. So money, wow. Hip hop profession. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. one. I like the pool. The pool. The pool thing is. Play, I don't, don't want to talk, talk about that. You pool with Jay Z. I don't want to talk about that. You had an opportunity. You had that's, that's, that's a good. That's a good. That's a good story. Let's not talk about that one. I don't want to talk about that. I don't like the loose. Let's talk about. I like the loose. Dance it. Did Jay Z have high or low in the count on the on the balls? Pause. Uh. I can't remember what it because I I like like whatever solid, it was solid. I like solid. solid it didn't matter I like solid whatever it was my my ball's balls was on it was on the table crazy <laughs> yeah your balls on the table all right. yeah <laughs> thanks God damn ho damn, oh, he, 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 no words for you yeah any any time I hear like a pool reference in songs I feel like he he talking about me sometimes I'll be like yeah it's a damn very competitive old. yeah super competitive. I wish yeah. I did, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely wasn't on that day, for yeah, sure. No. no, no. Listen, shout to Jay-Z for, shout to for Jay-Z. Teaching, teaching a young buck the rules of the game. Definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. You know what I'm saying? You, know what you mean? get that first shot, sink mm-hmm. it, because you might not get another one. <laughs> That's probably why he beat you, because he, 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 he knew he had, 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 a, had that conversation. So, mm-hmm. so he, was just, he definitely going to have to talk, okay. talk to me if I beat him, because I was going to definitely start talking shit. Mm-hmm. 100%. <laughs> Mike Bombs, we getting right to it. What's your hip-hop confession? Let's go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh shit! He, he readjusting his chair. Like, what's the problem? Because you know my my closest friends that are in the studio with me, we have this conversation all the time. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Okay. So this is to the world. So my hip hop confession is. <sighs> wow! Not a sigh. Yeah. You giving up? I believe that Lauren Hill is overrated as an artist. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. What do you mean? <laughs> Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill, right? Right. Is overrated. As an artist. Come on now, wow. 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 Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold up, wait, wait, wait. Hold wait. Up. Why Are we talking about the same Lauryn Hill? Yeah, Lauryn Hill, Black Lauryn Hill. L Boogie. Uh, see, yeah, L Boogie, same with uh, Bubba Boogie. Boogie. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, overrated. Wait, wait. Overrated, overrated as an artist. As an artist. Why overrated. would you say that? As like a like a painter? No, as a, mu- a music as, as, as a musical, as a musical, as a musical <laughs> artist, Lauryn Hill is overrated. So, so listen. All right, first, first like, let me clear. I got oh, wow. Right. I'm gonna clear this up real quick. Cause, uh, Shit. All right. So, okay. And, and, and Shit, about to get real. And it's, you know what? I'm glad we're having this conversation today because Lauryn Hill just released a song. 
mm-hmm. with Mariah Carey. That yeah. shows why she's overrated. You know what I'm saying? So okay, just because uh, all right, Cause, cause that song is that song is trash. You know what I'm saying? That song oh, is trash. That's your opinion. <laughs> that's your, I haven't heard it, so I can't. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, me, I can't, me, I can't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If 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 you like two legends, if you enjoy living. And enjoy your sanity. Wow. You would not listen to that. Right? He okay. said if you enjoy let's, living, let's though. Let's back up for a second. Okay. I need you to give me, because this now we're going to fine tooth comb this thing. Okay. okay. I need you to make me understand. Why do you feel that Lauren, the, miseduca- the miseducation of Lauren Hill. That has created you, mad yeah. artists. See, why you see you, you're, talking, you're talking about a project, the miseducation of Lauren Hill. Which is a, a, talking, an amazing yeah, project. Yeah, I'm talking about the artist. So here we go. So let's, so for one, like. Oh, wow, he's looking in his yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, he so, has so, notes. First, first no, no, I just, I, hold on, first, I just uh, want to say that Lauren Hill's album shaped the landscape for mad right, artists, yeah, bro. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a classic album. How many artists classic. don't have classics? So, like, so let, let's let's look up the definition of overrated first, right? Well, oh my god! Have a higher funny. opinion, right, of someone or something other than d- is deserved. So in that in that definition, does not <laughs> say she's bad. It. <laughs> it doesn't say that she's not good. You're just saying I, she's not deserving I'm of. I'm just saying she's not deserving. She's not deserving of being one of the greatest. Wait, you know wait, what I'm wait. saying? Lauren Hill is in my top. Tier of of female MCs mm-hmm. and artists. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. You should. You should if you I had, should a, if I had a top ten female, <laughs> she top five. Oh, oh, okay, okay, we're not she even talking five. about. All right, for for one, you're saying female artists, right? People cl- constitute or put Lauryn Hill as an as one of the top artists of all the she time. She ain't in my top ten MCs. Uh, no, well, I'm talking about artists. I look, regardless of what she do, you know what I'm saying. L- let me ask you a question, right? Jesus. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, right? God damn. I, I'm outside, sorry, guys. Outside, I didn't know this outside That's of the mis- crazy. Outside of the miseducation of Lauryn Hill, okay. right? And and singing Roberta Flack's song with the Fugees. Which, right? but, but that's like. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just outside saying. Outside of uh, uh, miseducation, uh, uh, Lauryn, Hill. Lauryn Hill. Outside of two classics. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. What else has she done? Unplug. Un- un- okay. Name a song off the off the Unplug album. Uh, I'll wait. I mean, listen. I'll wait. I know a couple <laughs> names. I know. Listen. I say this. I'll wait. Hold on. Listen. We, we hold, on. hold on. I'm a. I'm, it listen. All, hold on. It all falls down. I wait. I wait. I wait. Listen. Yo, you know, I know. You know. You know, I know titles. Oh, but really? listen. But she, that that is even beside the point. To to yeah, artists, he got us on that one. No, not the tracks. But listen, to artists, that's a cult classic. To them, art. I'm not a fan. You of You know that what project. else is a cult classic? Hold on. A little town, uh, uh, show that little China. You know what I'm saying? Who? Uh, uh, a leprechaun. Called, yeah, exactly. Who? Who? What? <laughs> you know what so I'm wait, you okay? Wait, wait, wait. Now you're saying outside of the score and miseducation of Lauren Hill, Which what else? Music? The score, but the here's the, the thing: you're talking what? about two albums that were massive. The score is what? What else has she done besides not show, coming to her shows late? Get a tax evasion. What else, what else wow. has she done? She's a my, sweet sweetest thing. Rose is still still a rose. Yeah, I mean, you talk about that. You talk about that. Read the Franklin song. Rose yeah, the one that. that oh, oh, Mike, what you're no, not gonna do is no, we're not gonna talk about the Yeah, we're not gonna disrespect the Queen. We're not gonna disrespect the Queen. No, 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 no. We're talking about Lauren Hill, right? So if you name your top five or read the Franklin song, is that gonna come? Is that the Rose still rose gonna come in the top five? Read the Franklin song. It's not what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no, we're talking about it's not, it's not, Okay, you're right on that. Yeah, it's not you, what I'm you, saying. Okay, you next. two points. <laughs> next. Question. Now, next. let me ask you this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The score, let's let's go back because the, the score was the predecessor to, mm-hmm. the score had to be made in order for Lauren to even know that she could make the miseducation. Right. Well, congrats. Right? You, you so you're one. trying to tell me that the score, one of the best albums of the 90s. Not one, one of the best, best hip-hop albums. Not one of the best, albums, period. Why? We're talking sales. Why? We're talking culture. Why? What impact music? What song? What song off the score? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Why? Uh, ready or not? Let's let's let's, let's, let's kill me softly. Kill me softly. Fuji Lies. Fuji Lies. Score. All right, can I catch a question? What's, <laughs> what's, what's, what's Prize doing now? Yeah, but that's not talking about Prize. No, 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 Back, no, up, back, up. Up. <laughs> back up, back up. Prize didn't do it again by himself. Why Clef didn't do it again by trash. himself? Trash. Let, yeah, me trash. Let me explain something. Let me explain something. Why Clef is not trash? Let Don't do that. Let me explain something. Prize, listen, you got your opinions on Prize. Why Clef is not trash? Let me explain something. I feel like, hold on. Okay, they're not trash. I feel like Prize paid for the sessions. They're just a guy. That's how you got They're just a guy. Okay, Mike. Listen, she was in a group with two dudes. She was the best rapper in the group. Can I ask you a question? What? If I have a Honda. Oh wow! Right, if I have a Honda, if I have a uh, what's another car? Uh, uh, Saab. A, a Saab, and I have a five forty five i. Which car are you going to drive? Out, out the group. 
You, you're not making <laughs> saying, your point. You she the was the best rapper and in singer, her group was, and singer group. in her group. Oh, yeah, yo. Listen, so, uh, the okay, score, so, hold on. <laughs> the score would not be what it was anything, without her. Excuse, excuse you were MC, right? Yes. How hard? How... <laughs> I'm an MC, yes. <laughs> Former, yes. How, how, how good do you really have to be to be better than Proz? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that, though. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. We, <laughs> Lauren, Lauren by herself, though, is a top tier rapper, MC. Singer, whatever you want to call it. Oh, by, well, really? By 100%. Okay. The disrespect. <laughs> we're, not gonna, we're, not, we're not going to let you say, go. You're Look, saying, are a... you trying to say that Lauryn Hill don't have no time, timeless music? No, that's not what I'm saying. She don't have, she don't have that's no, not, that's no... That's not what no, I'm saying. She don't have no what, bars? <laughs> what I'm saying is that The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill is a classic album. Right. Anything outside of that... Is mediocre. But listen to me. So therefore, therefore, if you look at her whole body of okay. work as an artist, uh-huh. she's overrated. We make it feel like she's been putting out hit after hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. Now let's let's hit the benchmark. Michael Jackson, not overrated. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Bob okay. Marley, not overrated, right? right? Uh Biggie Smalls, not overrated, right? Some would argue. Some, Some would, would argue. Because oh, okay, he only okay. made two albums. Nas, only made two. Not overrated, right? Some would definitely argue. Jay-Z, that. not overrated, right? Yeah. Uh Marvin Gaye, not overrated. What do these people have in common on the hood though? Bodies of work, out as a as an individual artist. Okay. You got one album that makes you. That's called an anomaly. You know what I'm saying? She a one album. Yeah, you saying so? You trying but, to but, say? But, but, but Biggie only got she, two. He he trying to say. But then he, uh, our God bless the dead. But we don't, I, I we don't never what know. He's saying he trying to say. He's saying she only did it once. Okay. And that might have been a fluke. Okay, let me ask you this. Is then. that what you're saying? I'm not. I'm so, saying. I'm so, not saying. I don't so, know if it's a fluke. I just know she hasn't did it again. So what about Usher? What about Usher? He ain't did it again. Okay. Then he oh no, Usher did it again. When? Oh, you mean what? Did did confessions again? Yeah, when did you do no, Nigga, fifty ain't do get rich or die trying yeah, again. Exactly, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And 50 yeah, cent, I was, 50 I was cent, going there too. Fifty cents a good artist. So so just so so right now you're naming a lot of good artists. You know what I'm so saying? You but saying as some she of, ain't even as, a good as, artist. As one of the greatest. No, no, we're saying Lauren Hill is one of the greatest. One of the greatest uh, cultural impactful. You but know she, what was, saying? She, she, she was. She you know was. Saying? You know what I'm saying? Like she's like John she Lennon. She's like Bob Marley. You know how many women started to sing because of her? Okay, that's because you know they, went, that's because they had one good album. Okay, so okay, let's let's let's, let's, let's do this. Let's Listen, do this. If oh, I have a, if I have an artist and they say I'm I want to be like Lauryn Hill, I'm gonna be like, oh, well, we got one album to make this thing happen. Because after, after, <laughs> oh, after, wow. after this, after this, oh, after this, shit. it's all wow. downhill. You know what I'm saying? You are super disrespectful, Yo. Mike Michael. Mm-hmm. If I win a championship, Lauryn Hill, I, let me Lauren, finish. Let me finish. Okay. If I win a championship out this bitch, mm-hmm. I'm a champion. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if I only did it once. If Thanks. I won the Super Bowl one time, mm-hmm. I am a Super Bowl champion. Oh, oh, oh. Real, real quick, this... Barry Sanders. What's up? Great running back. Great? Yeah, but he, he ain't got no rings. Yeah, okay. He got one ring. Yeah, he got one ring. He, 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 I think right. he won the playoffs twice. You're right. You're right. Great running back. So, but he said, he said, yeah, but so, so Barry is he Sanders old, has a... Old, old, Barry we get away from the music. Is he old for rated? No, everybody saying overrated. Cause so he, your, because 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 in games he did a game after game after game. There was things within his power he can't control. Lauren Hill as a solo artist, well, she, we don't know what she's going through, dog. I, you life. know what? I, you know what? We don't know what she. I know what she ain't going through. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What beats? Great, great albums. <laughs> you know what she ain't going through beats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, listen, I listen, mean, I, I, look, she's talented. I, you know what I'm saying? Lauren Hill called me. Well, she probably won't. Did she hear this? I <laughs> never, <laughs> I never thought won't. about it in the way that he's making us think about. Nah, it. I'm not gonna let him slide with this one. I'm sorry. Like what you? I, I, I understand your I understand point. Your like, premise? what else? He's saying what? He's saying we we put her at a level, and he like, well, what else is there? What else? Can, can Laura can Laura Hill make a greatest hit album? Damn. I mean, Damn. N- Nell, Nell, Nelly did. So I guess I guess Laura Hill. Hill. So where, where, gonna put, where are you gonna put the songs on? <laughs> what, you know what Laura Hill's greatest hit album gonna be? It's gonna be the Miseducation of Laura Hill with bonus tracks. Wow. <laughs> Nah, you Next. disrespect her, <laughs> sound, her soundtrack shit, bro. We not gonna do the soundtrack. Yeah, bonus tracks. Can't take my eyes off you. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, bonus tracks. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We can't. We, we can't say. Just, this, this album. But you know what though? The the songs that we're naming, they are bonus tracks. They weren't on anything. <laughs> they were on soundtracks. Mm-hmm. Bonus, yeah, bonus track. Damn. That's because my sh- and, 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 uh. and soundtracks are always surrounded by something bigger than the artist. You mm, know what I'm saying? True. The movie. 
You know what I'm saying? So anything outside, all I got to say is, yo, when that unplug came out, it was anticipated. People lined up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, people, first of all, people she, tuned in. She, and she, and she, what did she do? She Hill. played the guitar in the same key. She played the yeah, same song. She, she just learned how to play a week ago. So why the Had fuck you. would she? Why, why the fuck would she go on go on that stage in that platform and say, and say and think to herself, "I'm so great, niggas gonna take this shit." First, you know what I'm saying? First, first of all, that shit. first of all, I just want to say, do to you? First, first of all, did I just want to say, she definitely didn't take a record or something. I don't know what happened, but listen, first of all, I just want to say that I think that it's wild that like. She had that many songs in in the same key. Shout out to her for that. Yeah, that's a lot of songs. Shout out to the same key. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the same key. Ladies she, she, and gentlemen, everybody is clapping but Mike. Yeah, right facts, now facts. Just let you. She know. was brave though. She was brave for doing that. Okay, so speaking of, all right, so that's that's your hip hop confession. Okay. Uh, wow. You saying she don't have no timeless music? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. I'm all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, miseducation is bigger than the artist of Lauryn Hill. I, I agree. That's with all that. I'm saying. Okay, I agree with that. I take that, which makes her overrated. All right, I can't agree with that. Okay. Okay. All right. I can't agree with that. So speaking of not having timeless music, (sighs) DJ Money. Yes. There is an artist that you believe doesn't have I I, Yo, I don't wanna I don't wanna misquote you right, right. in saying this. Because I know what's gonna happen once I say this. Well, okay, what is it? This is this is not this is it's kinda tied into your confession. Yeah, it is a little bit. And like I said, let me just say Please say God. this. Please God. All right. The caliber of artist she is. Mm-hmm. The caliber of artist she caliber is. Caliber of artist. I've never seen someone at this tier not have have this, okay? She's a great artist, makes great records, classic records. Okay. However, Beyonce does not have a classic album. Ooh. At her tier. Don't get it twisted. She has classic records. Are we including Destiny's Child? We can, because they don't got none either. God damn. Eyes <laughs> And I love listen, and I love DC. I love B's records. Listen, I know Beehive. Listen, whatever. I'm sorry. Let's go through them. Let's go. Beyonce let's go through them. Does not have a classic. She makes a, classic. a now. She has. She has now music. She has classic songs. One hundred percent. She has classic songs. But an a, a album that I'm just like. She doesn't have a confession. She doesn't have a miseducation. She doesn't have a thriller. She doesn't have an off the wall. Of course, her fans will will ride for her, which they DJ should. DJ ain't classic. It's yeah. the closest one. Uh, lemonade. Okay. On no. Oh, lemonade oh, definitely oh, in the classic. Oh, okay. On B day we had mm-hmm. deja vu. Ring the alarm too. Whoa, 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 nigga, hold up, nigga. Oh, listen, on one album, no, nigga, I agree you had with this. Deja Vu, uh-huh. Get Me Body, yep. Upgrade, uh-huh. Ring the Alarm, oh, don't, don't Kitty don't. Cat, uh-huh. Freakum Dress, be, Irreplaceable. Be, be, yeah, Be With You. Irreplaceable. That's a classic song. And Check On It. Right. That was a bonus. But of course, cool. Nigga, I don't know. That's the closest to a classic. But outside of that, look, at what year, year was that? That was 2006. So you're saying Beyonce doesn't have a confessions? She a, doesn't. A lot of people don't have a confessions album. Yeah, yeah. But, but I feel you. But, I, but what I'm saying is for nigga, her. I don't have listen, a confessions. But, but listen, nigga. but my point is at her tier. At, oh, you're saying for somebody to for be as somebody huge for be as huge she is, she is she she's doesn't, almost like a modern day Michael Jackson. Facts. She don't have a thriller. Thank you. He might. She doesn't he might. have one. She doesn't have an off the wall. She doesn't even have a bad. What well, she might have a bad. She has a bad. She might have a bad. She, she has a bad. Off the wall she don't have off the wall through the Wow. Through. I never thought about that. Real talk. And this and that's no diss to her music. Right. Because we're DJs. We play. Yeah, I, 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 I love Beyonce. Listen, Beyonce. if listen, I want Beyonce, women to dance. Rock Nation, Jay Brown, hey guys. Listen, we love you guys. <laughs> love I love you. you. Money said it. I didn't. This is Skills <laughs> talking. Listen, if I was as a DJ, we love you. Parkwood, Ivy Park, all that. <laughs> as a DJ, if 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 the party is not cracking and women aren't dancing, I'm playing Beyonce. Automatic, and I'm going to the bathroom because this is a six minute song. Right. I got a second. Hey, what album was it? The one with um, <laughs> wow, one, uh, give me body. Oh, See, look, you don't even pay attention. Uh, B- B- was, was, was you was, listening, was, my nigga? Yeah, I was. I was, <laughs> but I don't. I don't know Beyonce stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the album. Damn, like that. But see, that's my point. That's his point. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all for listening to Hip Hop Confessions. <laughs> we appreciate <Wow>. this. <laughs> So you're saying, okay, you're saying... At her tier. I, I just said Beyonce is probably the closest thing to Michael Jackson that we had. She is. And I just had to come back on my own statement and say she don't have a thriller. At her tier. And that's, and that's what I'm saying. At her tier. Is, now, it, I, is it the state of music that we in? I think it's a little bit of that and also making sure that she she has stuff for the for the young girls. Because, but you know, you know who Beyonce Sometimes, is? I don't feel like Beyonce chased a lot. No, she didn't. But you no, know, no, no. But musically, she always makes sure that she's either on or around it. 
You know what I'm saying? She's right. not like one of. She never made it out like outside of uh, what's the one four? Outside of four, mm-hmm. I feel like she never made just a record on some like yo. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just make what the fuck I want to make. Hey, like, these I, type of records. Da, da, da. I think it's different metrics. I want to tell you who Beyonce is compared to sports. Please don't piss me off. Oh God, this nigga. Oh, Beyonce, LeBron James, Michael Jackson, is Michael Jordan. Different metrics. See, we're not going to do that you, because you wanna, you I know what you're judge, trying to do. We can't judge by championships because when you bring the championship thing up, when you bring the championship yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's no comparison. Is, you know what I'm saying? Outside of what they did. So LeBron <laughs> is LeBron. Is Beyonce, Beyonce is LeBron mm-hmm. and Jordan is Michael Jackson. Yes. and because Because they're both great in their own regard. Okay. They both have done some great things. But when you line up championships, mm-hmm. LeBron does not hold a candle. He gonna get another one this year though, but I think yeah, this this season don't even count. Niggas is playing twenty years from now. Niggas playing they not going playground. <laughs> niggas ain't niggas playing down. Niggas at home, right? Niggas is playing twenty one. Get the fuck mm-hmm. out of here. Mm-hmm. Niggas playing goddamn but, kill the man with. But the yes, ball. I just never seen someone with as as huge of an artist as Beyonce is. and not have wow. And like you I said, might be right though. And there's no disrespect. Cause I know the beehive once again. Yeah. No dis, no DJ disrespect. at DJ Money. No, 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 no. <laughs> at DJ Money. At bombs. Listen, at, listen. What I'm telling you is, yeah, because her fans are gonna go way harder than Lauryn Hill's fans. They are gonna be late. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying yeah, is, yeah, you go. at the end, end of the day, I just feel like it's very rare we see that tier of artists and not have a classic body, body work. Stevie, she don't even have. She don't songs. have songs in the key of life or mm. intervisions. Like, wow. but you know what she could do? She could make a greatest hit album. She definitely could do that. She, got, she, she could got do that twice. Beat on that. She mm-hmm. could make a great decision album twice. <laughs> she but then how is... That's crazy. But you see me. what I'm saying? Like To me, that, so that's all always been weird to me. it all on one album. It just fell on multiple albums. So the, the catalog is there. The body of work is there. But she doesn't have but that she one. she don't have she can't. One. She can't do that MTV like 20 years from now. Like, yo. She can't do... She can't do... Like, Jay-Z can go perform Reasonable Doubt. And that's it. And the Skit, whole album. Skits and all. Like, skits and all. And leave. <laughs> you know you're not going to hear nothing else. You're not going to hear. And, and the folks will be takeover. fine with that. Niggas, Jay-Z can say, I'm on, he's done it already. I'm only performing Reasonable Doubt with a orchestra. That's, and this is it. That's crazy. I'm only going to do my B-sides. That's it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce can't even get on stage and say, I'm going to just do this one album. I've, I've been to a Stevie Wonder show where it's only what songs album? in the key of life. Mary can do it. Mary, yeah, Mary could get. Mary did it. Mary did my life. The whole album. Snoop could do it. Yes. We keep going. Drake can do it. Yeah, and Beyonce can't in 2020. That's all Damn. I'm saying. No disrespect at all. And once again, Beehive, I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Honey, in 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 my tea. <laughs> what I'm saying is though, like it's just at her caliber of artist, it's very rare and it's yeah. and it's wild to me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I hope she gets it because she deserves it. She, she definitely does. And right. I think she will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? she, she hey, deserves Beyonce, it. I got some songs. I got some too. I got, I got a couple. Stuff. I got a couple. I got a couple. Got some. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it's an album worth, but. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I got some songs. It's a lot of pressure. Dream, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I got some beats. Hey. You, can, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey. You know what I'm I think you have a classic album. Hey, and if, you know what I'm saying? I feel like just the fact that I feel this way, she would call me before she hit you. Like, I feel like I would just... You might get the call, man. I'm not going to get the call. But it's fine. What I'm saying is, though. And then Jay would be like, oh, yeah, that's that nigga I beat in pool. <laughs> <laughs> he's salty. That's why he's saying Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The nigga I beat in pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, that nigga in 09. It, yeah, it, yeah, I remember that nigga. He's remember the night we got the argument over Sean Paul? Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. real quick. So who's more of a great artist, Lauryn Hill or uh, Beyonce? Come on, man. Stop. Oh, don't, Stop. Don't, okay. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't so listen, that. in closing, we're going to get up out of here. I appreciate both of you guys for coming through on, and man. sharing these stories with me. Uh, DJ Money lost to Jay-Z in the game of pool. Wildness. Um... And saw the dismantling of a relationship. <laughs> that was crazy. That stopped Sean Paul from getting on stage with Beyonce at Dutty the height, <laughs> at the height of Dutty on. Mm-hmm. And and he also believes that Beyonce doesn't have a, a great album. Classic which, album. A classic, classic album. album. Which, a classic which, album. Which she has I'm, a great album. Which I I'm kind of with you on that. That's, she doesn't that's have a, a classic crazy album. To me. And Mike Bombs mm-hmm. Mike believes Bombs. that Lauren Hill is overrated. What? Overrated. overrated. That's wow. your hip hop confession. Mm-hmm. And you're going to stand on that. Man. Yeah, she's a good artist, but overrated. Damn, cuz. Wow, I would tell her to pull up, but then she might miss you because mm-hmm. she's probably going to be late. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. And on that note, <laughs> on the Mariah Carey verse when she came on, it was empty oh, bars. It was, it was empty bars because she was. Listen, wow. we go get up out of here, man. This has been Hip Hop Confessions. If you want to follow my friends, you can do so at at Mike Bombs B O M B Z. Yep. Mike Bombs at DJ Money. Yes, sir. At DJ Money on everything. Uh, amazing DJ, amazing producer. I appreciate both of you guys. Thank y'all for coming. Yeah. This has been the first Get Back episode of the Hip Hop Confessions podcast. My name is Mad Skills. And listen, I'm, I'm interested to in hearing what yours are. And we will check y'all out soon. This has been Hip Hop Confessions because everybody got one.